Hi, in today's video we will talk about how to create a box plot using the high charter library in R. So let's get started. We'll be using these three packages, high charter, dplyr, and gapminder. So I'm using the gapminder dataset. I'm filtering it by year equals 2007 because this data set only has the data up to the year 2007. So we are using the latest. And then I simply put an arrange command saying, show me the data by descending order of uh, population. Now, before we create our box plot in high charter, we need to transform our data. And the command for that is data to box plot. Now this command is available within the high charter library. So once you load the, the package high charter, you would have this ability to convert this data into data to box plot. So I'm passing my data set DS, which is this data set. And I'm saying I want to see the life expectancy, which is a numeric field, and the continent. And the continent, there are five uh, continents in our uh, data set. So that's why we get five different box plots. And my group variable is continent. And I'm also saying that I don't want to see any outliers. You can try switching it on to true if you want and see the difference um, in the chart which you get. And now I'm giving the fill colors manually, the colors which get filled into these bars. Because there are five continents, I've given red, green, yellow, pink, and blue. And then I want to have the lines, the lines which appear in the middle and the lines which extend to the top or to the bottom as, as black color. So with that, I'm ready to plot my first box plot. And this is the code for that. And this is the output which you see. So we are saying that um, x axis, the type equals category. Now this is important because this line gives you the box plot. This line tells the high charter library that we want to plot a box plot. And then we are adding our series list there, which is my box plot data, the data which you just prepared up here using data to box plot command. And on top of that, you want to tell High Charter that on the x axis, the title which we want to see is continent, which is this. And the title which we want to see at the top is this, and the subtitle and the caption at the bottom. And I want to hide the legend, so I said enabled equals false. You can try switching it on by saying enabled equals true as well if you want. So this is the output which you get. The individual detail, for example, Africa maximum population, the upper quartile, the median value, low quartile, and the minimum value. If in this case, I've actually added the theme called theme chalk, which is this. And once I create my plot by calling it as PL, then I simply say PL, which, which prints this chart or which shows the chart on the screen. Now you can also save this chart and it's quite easy. There are two steps to that. You have to use a library called HTML widgets and then you have to use another library called WebShot. The first line saves the chart or the widget PL, which we just created up here. Widget equals PL, and this is the location where I want to save my, my, my HTML file. And I'm working on a Windows computer, and I'm giving two backslashes. Once you have the HTML file on your um, computer, then you are able to use the WebShot command by taking the snapshot of the same URL. So in the URL command, you are giving exactly the same information which you had in the HTML widgets. And then saying, I want to have my output in the same folder and I want to call it as boxplot.png. And then there is a delay of 10 or you can try experimenting with different delays. Uh, delay equals 10 is quite safe. Um, and that's about it in this chart and you'll get um, a PNG file um, on, on your computer which has the same information. I hope you found this information useful. Thank you very much for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.